let's talk about the Matterport trim tool. Quick and easy way to clean up your Matterport dollhouse so it looks amazing. Check it out. So as you can see, I went outside on this Matterport tour and one of the scans went haywire and caused this flare out. So I'm gonna show you how to get that done in the trailer. Click edit. And then on the bottom right over here, you have the trim function. And then you want to hit the plus button. My face is in the way, so let's move that out of the way. All right, once you hit that plus button over here on the left, you got position, scale, and rotation. They're all pretty self-explanatory position. You get on these arrows, you can move it around, up, down, however you want. Oh, that jumped. Ah, so in this case, we are trying to get rid of this back area, but I want to keep this box in my view. So I'm going to switch it to scale. Now I'm going to grab one of these ends and just thin it up just enough, just enough. So I get that wall in there, but not that extra piece back here. Now there's a couple options that you have when you're looking at your tour up here on the top. You have 3D, which is what we're in. You can right click on your mouse, move things around, or you can use arrow key. You can choose from the side view, and if you, you can mouse it left to right, scroll it in and out, and then up next to a side view are these arrows. You click those arrows, and that'll change your side view to get more options. And then you got the top view. Uh, I find for the most part, top view and the 3D view are the ones I use because it gives me that extra view that I need for these extra flares coming out. So I need to get rid of this one. So this one's pretty much done um, on rotation. If I want to turn it just a little bit or back and forth with these, just follow these lines and it turns it whatever way that is. Uh, all right, but let's go back to scale, position, all looks good. I don't have any flare, so I'll hit the check mark, and that's done. And if you over here on the right, if you want to see what it looks like before, after, you got that right there. And if you decide you want to rename this trim, if you have a bunch of trims going on, or if you want to delete it right there. So I want to do another trim to get rid of this side over here. So I hit the plus again, and right away it goes into position mode so I'll change the position until it gets right over there and down because I'm trying to get rid of this and what was here now I'll change the scale and then just scale enough so we are there that's pretty good let's look at the check it off let's look at the 3d model version it's not even sometimes to move this thing around all right so this is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like after. And then if you take off the trims all together, not too bad. Now you can get really detailed, do some trim boxes to get rid of these little pieces here and these pieces here like this. And so I'm gonna scale this down to small, just over a fence and then scale this so it doesn't come into the house. And let's go to the top view. So basically I'm just making everything the same height as the fence. And the bra one, let's check it. And this is before or after. So you see we got rid of those little extra pieces just hanging out. I'm doing a Matterport playlist of all these editing functions on the side of the Matterport. If you found this helpful, make sure you like, subscribe, follow for more tips, and comment below on any one specific that you have questions on or how to use it specifically. Have a great day.